What's up guys? This is James from James Zep Productions and welcome to my channel. In my channel, I'm going to upload videos on how to use Reaper better. So like tips on Reaper and um, some of my production works and some music playthrough videos. They're going to be up really soon. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to add an FX on a track or multiple tracks directly. So what I mean by directly is without just like this without going through any um, list like this you don't have to go through any list like this just one button so in order to create a button we um, the action has to be in the action list but none not like none of the FX is not it's gonna be in the action list um, at first so we have to create it the way we do it is you go to action list and type cycle action and open this up. So I assume that you haven't used it before because you're watching this video. So it's going to be empty. So now what you're going to do is right click and click this. Now you're going to name it. Give it a title. It's going to this title is going to be in the action list. So you want to you want to make it something that you can recognize, you know. So in this case, I'm gonna be using re rear EQ for example. So I'm gonna just name it rear EQ. So now you go to the right the right side, right click add. So now this is very important. Capitalized type console uncapitalized X and type rear EQ. So basically what this mean is that X it means adding an FX on the track. And following the following is the name of the FX. Now you have you have to be careful. It, um you can have a space in the middle. Like you can have anything like that. So it has to be the first few letters of the plugin and so it doesn't have to be the full name. It's just to have to be uh, something that um, Reaper can recognize. In this case, it's free AQ. So press enter, and it's gonna recognize. So now, go back here. Now you see this start. It means that is not saved. So you need to click apply. So now it's saved. So let's run it and see if it works. So pretty cool, it works. So um, once um, another way to make it better is to eliminate the step of clicking this button to see the window. You know, better, uh, more efficient workflow. So what you can do now is open up your action list, find float fx, and find this action flow select fx for selected tracks and right click copy selected action common id or whatever that is and come back here right click add and control v and enter so you can see that this thing is recognized so come back here remember to click apply Oh, by the way, you have to use uh, you have to have SWS extension to to do this kind of stuff. So, but I guess a lot of most of um, the Reaper users have it, so it's not gonna be a problem. So, click apply. I think I did. Come back here. I'm gonna delete it. Let's try it again. Run. There you go. It's very easy. Um, there's another way to do it. Um, this way of doing it. Um, it's gonna be like the the plugin you added. It's just a plugin. There's no data stored in it. It means that like it's just like it's the default. You know, the other way of adding this is gonna be um, it can you can have data on it. It means that you can add it and it if you like for example you have something like that and when you press that button. And it's gonna be like this already, so you have you don't have to um, um, like just do it manually afterwards. So for example, it's gonna be for example I have a high pass here, 
I click it, and it's it's gonna be already set to uh, high pass forty five hertz. I'm gonna be talking about this in another video because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, it's gonna be like precise and brief and helpful. So that's pretty much it. And for those of uh, for those of you who want to know, like the metric behind that is it's just a console. So open console. What I mean is it's just a console. Like if you press X here, is add a fix of on all. So for example, if you have multiple tracks, it's gonna be no uh, add F6 on track number two. So we're doing that. We're just using this in the cycle action editor. So um, I'm going to be talking more about this in a, um, in the later videos. And I hope if you find this video helpful, please give it a like. And um, I hope you subscribe because I'll be uploading a lot of videos like this um, to how to make like really cool buttons and toggles and how to make your workflows better. So I hope it helps. Thanks for watching.